What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to PC Garage Kicks and Whips. And we are here today to do something a little bit more helpful for you guys. So I'm not reviewing any shoes. I am going to show you how to protect your shoes and how to do it on the low, how to do it for cheap. There are places that sell uh, this product, rejuvenator.com. So if you don't want to do what I'm about to do, just head on over to rejuvenator.com. Use my uh, discount code, Beastly Garage for 10% off of this product and you can go ahead and purchase some already made. You don't have to waste no time, you know, doing arts and craft. Uh, for those of you do-it-yourselfers like myself, it's a satisfying feeling when you get things done yourself. And I feel as though I can get more product for less money. I'm gonna show you guys how to make sole shields or shoe shields or whatever you call them for the sole. It's basically a clear like uh, film on the bottom of the soles and it protects your shoe from getting uh, yellowed and dirtied and all that stuff. So it, it's really helpful on shoes like these that have clear bottoms. These are the Spider-Mans and these here, the Concords. If you have Concords sitting there and you haven't un them yet, then this might be the reason that you go ahead and un them by using this product. And here's what they look like if you don't use them before you wear your shoes. These are some um, triple white uh, Jordan 3s. And you can see here, I didn't know about the sole shields before I wore these. And even though I did clean the soles, they are yellow. All right, full disclaimer though, this isn't my first attempt at this. Uh, it is July 6th or the 7th, whatever. Uh, but on the 4th of July, I decided to undies uh, these right here. These are my Spider-Mans. I try to do that little, uh, little bit of off-white flair. I kind of dug it, you know, just a little pop of color. And um, I did put the soap, the sole shields, whatever that I created on there. However, it was not successful. And I'll, in a later in the video, I'll explain to you why I believe it wasn't successful. But uh, for now, so I'm gonna redo them, both shoes. And uh, it's fairly simple. I thought it was gonna take a long time, but um, yeah, it doesn't take long at all. But I do, I do wanna shout out the person that actually put me down to this. If you're on Instagram, you can follow him. I think his uh, Instagram title is The Fit Nav. If anything, I'll put it right here on the screen. Go follow that guy. He's a pretty cool dude. He's a subscriber. He always helped me out with my videos. Uh, when it comes to like customizing and he, he posts some dope pics and always got some heat that he's uh he's putting up on there so shout out to you for uh for the idea and uh yeah so let's just go ahead and get into these bad boys the only thing you're going to need to buy is uh some 3m vinyl clear vinyl sheeting and i got this off of amazon i put the link down in the description uh i got um six inches by 48 inches it's enough to do two pairs of shoes i think it's somewhere like 15 dollars you can get bigger rolls if you want to do more shoes uh, i just wanted to test it out so that's why i just started with this amount if you want now this is totally optional you can buy some tape and you just put these little pieces of tape on the bottom uh and it's for grip because this by itself is a little bit slippery i did try it with the tape initially and then i took it off immediately because i feel it's just too rough it scratches up my hardwood floors and I don't find it necessary. I think it's pretty, you're pretty good with it just like this. I mean, it's a little slippery on carpet, but uh, other than that, I mean, it's fine. You should be, you should be good, but it's 10 bucks. I also put the link in the description if you're interested in getting this stuff too. And what you're also going to need is a pair of scissors, a heat gun. And heat guns are very cheap. If you got a Harbor Freight near you, you can get one of these for like $9. With their coupon, it'll probably be like seven bucks. Pretty sure you could possibly use a hair dryer. Also, going to add an extra step this time around that I didn't do before, and that is just a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol. And I'm just gonna wipe down my sole with this rubbing alcohol before I apply uh, the 3M, as I think it might remove any oils that I might have picked up while I was wearing the shoe or during the manufacturing process that might be still on the bottom of the sole. Anything that can help prevent what happened the first time I tried this on 4th of July. Let's just go ahead, clean up the bottom of these soles. I'll start with one shoe. Shoe has been wiped down, dries pretty much instant. Take this, this 3M, you wanna put the backing area up top because that's that's the sticky side it's going to apply to the shoe and in order to maximize my um my usage of this this remaining piece i am going to go all the way up to the edge here so i can definitely make sure i get two shoes done with this so all i have to do now is just go around the shoe to trace out the, the bottom of the shoe That's 
the bottom outline of the shoe. Hopefully you can see that. And go ahead and cut it out. Let's get this roll out of this thing. Doing this just helps flatten it out a little bit. Roll it back in the other direction. Makes it easier to work with. There we go. Dead on. Peel it off. And apply it to the bottom of your shoe. You can see, man, this is a really quick and easy process. Let's see. Hopefully, I can try to get it. Now I like to cut mine to where it does not roll up on the edges. Um, I just like a more clean look and I'm not really worried about protecting the little side pieces there. They don't usually get too dirty anyway. You can not do that and just fold it up there. The heat gun is what is going to help you bend and shrink the uh, material around the sole, the corners and curves of the sole. So now at this point we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit it with some heat continue to press it in. It's gonna shrink and grab itself onto the sole and we'll be done. You wanna keep your, uh, your heat gun moving. Don't sit in one spot. Don't burn your shoes yet. You're not trying to cook them. You can see it pulls, pulls nicely. Once it's heated up. You also see that as I'm heating it up, it actually goes into the crevices and all the little grooves. And this also adds a little bit of traction. You can see there all the dots, little dots right there around the edges. They become more exposed when you heat it up. So this is another reason I find I don't need to add this traction tape. areas that won't fold up like right here just hit it with some heat and work it up and it'll fold pretty much easy that shoe is done that's done now I could go around and I could trim the edges but this one actually folded up really nicely it's not sticking sticking up anywhere and I feel as though it's good. I, I feel like there's enough of the tread exposed where I still should have some good grip on carpet again. It is gonna be a little slippery, but other than that, it's fine. Go ahead and knock out the other shoe and I'll be right back. Here's the shoes. They look good, nice and protected. Hopefully this time it'll last a little bit longer. I know I've heard some people say you could probably get, you know, five to 10 wears out of, out of them, uh, considering where you wear them and how you wear them uh, before you'll have to replace the uh, shoe shields. Um, but what I think happened was with mine was um, on the 4th of July, I ended up driving to Philadelphia to hang with the family. Got in the car, drove to Philly, got out the car in a gravel parking lot. I mean, gravel's pretty tough on any sole. And then, you know, for a sole that has like a vinyl covering on it, immediately one started to fail. Once I got into the, the house where I was going, uh, I saw the back starting to peel. It must've got chewed up by the gravel. And I, I immediately peeled the one off. Um, and then <laughs> later on, I didn't know that I was going to be doing scooters, like riding scooters through the city. And we ended up riding scooters and 
scooters, motorcycles, any type of activity like that where you're going to be stopping, putting your feet down, possibly on a moving vehicle, it's probably not good for your uh, for your soles. And yeah, so what the other one did come off eventually, and I peeled that one off as well. So they did not last. This one lasted maybe 50 steps. <laughs> this one a little bit longer, um, but it eventually failed all within the first few hours. Uh, just a little tip: don't do scooters if you're planning on preserving your shoes wear a different shoe i mean other than that i think they would have held up just normal walking through like a mall your house um maybe even just regular streets like concrete pavement they'll probably do well as long as you're not a hill dragger you know the ones that drag their feet as they're walking i mean if you walk like you're trying to preserve your shoes you know how you are you know how you guys walk when you're trying not to bend or crease your uh your shoes or, or drag your heels um, if you walk like that, you know, through any normal places, I'm pretty sure these will last a long time. Just don't run through gravel, gravel pits, don't climb mountains, don't, uh, yeah, don't do anything crazy. Maybe not walk through some crazy puddles because I don't know how sticky this stuff is when it gets wet. But either way, for uh, I think $15 investment and I got to do this shoe twice. It's, it's definitely not bad. Um, you can get larger rolls. It probably saves you more money if you get a, just a really large roll and you'll just have you know enough to do many, many pairs. That's probably what I'll do next time. I think there's like a $60 roll. I'll do that and I can do every shoe that I probably have. Um, but you can see it doesn't take long, maybe five minutes per shoe. And that's about it. Again, if you're not into this do-it-yourself do type deal, use my code at rejuvenator.com. It's Beastly Garage for 10% off. And you can just buy those and get them shipped to you. No harm, no foul. They'll send them around to you. Still, I think you still have to trim them though. So, I mean, don't tell Rejuvenator I said this, but if you're gonna have to trim them, you might just buy your own material and make your own. I think it's the same as that material. I mean, they're probably gonna hate me for this, but I, I can't steer you guys wrong. I'm, I'm telling you guys the truth. I probably just buy my own material just do it myself i'm a do it yourselfer that's that's what we do so uh yeah anyway what y'all think about these uh these laces in here you know i got mixed comments i put a poach a picture on um on twitter if you don't follow me on twitter please go ahead and follow me on twitter my name is beastly underscore gt on twitter and instagram i did put a pick up i think people like that that vibe just a little bit uh, a little bit more different a little bit more off whitish and uh, yeah, I actually went to go see Spider-Man. What did y'all guys think of that? Did y'all go see Spider-Man, uh, the, the latest one? Um, I went to go see it though at an IMAX theater, but not just the normal IMAX. It was one of those 4D IMAX theaters where you wear the glasses and you're in the movable chairs and they squirt water and air and stuff. And it's, it was crazy. I was wondering how am I gonna deal with this for two hours? You know, constantly moving up and down and having them spray water on me. It got a little cold at the end. I was like, oh my God, here comes another water scene. At a certain point, I was just like, oh my God, it's freezing. But anyway, it was an experience. Don't know if I need to do it again anytime soon, but it was definitely worth it. Uh, it is expensive though. It was like $26 a ticket. I think I spent 111 bucks for four of us to go out. Uh, for movies, that's 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 really expensive. But I mean, it's a Disney ride for two hours. But uh, yeah, let me know if you guys have any experience with that. What y'all think about it? About the movie? If you did a 4DX movie, um, yeah, let's just chat it up in the comments. But uh, other than that, I think that is about it. Oh, in the previous video, um, a lot of people were saying that I was crazy about my um, what I was talking about with these uh, Jim Reds. And I just wanted to put a little disclaimer out there. The pair that I had was bad quality. It was, I don't know what was going on with that side panel. Um, but then I did pick up other pairs. I ended up having four pairs total at that time. And I looked at the other pairs. The other pairs were decent. Some of those had really good quality. I put a picture up and you could see the differences between, between the two different pairs I had in hand. One was like a regular leather and the other was like a extra tumbled leather. Like right here, this is a, a size four youth. And this one actually has, like, this has the basic leather, um, but you can see in the picture, the one was like super tumbled. So I guess it depends on the pair you got as far as the quality. They're not a bad shoe. I, I didn't, I came off like I was really hating on them. But for me personally, I just don't like the shininess. I don't like the different color, the white against the um, the sale sole. It's, there's no way I'm gonna buy or, or spend money on a shoe that looks like another shoe I already have. That's just my personal opinion. I'm not mad at you guys if you like that. That's that's your opinion. It's a, it's not a bad shoe. And uh, like I said, the quality varies just like any other Jordan from shoe to shoe. So yes, you can't hate me for my opinion. That's what I think. I think I just don't like that shoe, but 
If you do, if you got it, it's a dope shoe. If you think it's better than the, uh, the Sports Illustrated, your opinion. Yeah, you're welcome to it. You know, we're all here, one love. So, uh, hey, listen, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Comment down below any comments you may have. And I'm out of this, John. Later, guys. Jim Red still suck though. <laughs>